Hello ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to another episode of The Castle here on Not Your Professional Walkthroughs channel with me, your host, Max. So in the previous episode, we started to establish our lovely kingdom, and so far it's working well. I was able to get the upgrade for the wooden fortification so that we can start man the archers up on the walls. But right now, we need to get more civilians uh, to be accessible to us so that we can recruit a whole lot of new units. And we're going to also need to get into uh, being able to get different types of units as unfortunately the enemy is starting to get reinforced units and this means that those reinforced units are going to cause a whole lot more trouble. So we're going to need better defenses against the enemy or just be able to deal a whole lot more damage. So. Hence, I'm trying to increase everything and uh, we aren't able to tap into the higher castle until we are able to uh, go further. So, uh, two-handed knight seems interesting, but I was thinking more of the spearman kind of uh, build right now. We're gonna see. Uh, I'm trying to get a whole bunch of stuff constructed, so it's gonna take some time. We have our forces here, we do have our archers, uh, so we're gonna have to protect our food production here, otherwise we can be in kind of a pickle, and I would hate to be in a pickle. I don't know if we can upgrade some of these structures further, but definitely getting the upgrades on these fortifications is gonna be a key to our success. Four hundred fifty is quite a lot for this piece, don't you think? I don't know if it's gonna transfer into like this too, but it's gonna be interesting to see. Uh, open, close gate, change wall side, add archer. Oh, so we need to do that specifically for just. Okay, it's gonna be interesting. Uh, I'm gonna try to increase the residence size we need the civilians just in order to tap into more recruiting that's gonna be crucial for us I need a whole bunch of archers so let's make that happen just don't know how fast it's gonna allow us to come in or do these things but as the forces keep growing of the enemy it's gonna be that much more important for us to keep this up and running we're gonna need also builders guild in order to start repairing structures I was able to upgrade this warehouse but I am not sure if it's just not easier for me to build a bunch of warehouses and that way just do what needs to be done uh, we are waiting for quite a lot of people to join our place But I feel like they are immediately going into the archer range to be trained Which is not the worst thing uh, We have still a couple of minutes before the enemy comes in and Does whatever it is that they do I would hate to lose this kingdom but the more I keep playing it the more I keep understanding um, I'm trying to be a bit more careful on how much I extend in which direction just due to the simple fact you can overextend and if you've seen any other series on my channel like kingdom two crowns or or anything else which I have done over the years uh, you can understand why I don't want to be too hasty uh, so we need a couple people for the Builder's Guild. And I cannot really upgrade the Marketplace. And we need to upgrade this eventually, but for that we need just a whole bunch of more research. 600, so yeah, we can actually do the Spearman. Question is... Yeah, we can train them over here as well. So 
So plus 10 is the mood that should help us speed up the uh, chance of recruiting at faster pace. I'm gonna install the archers onto the fortifications. Eventually they're gonna have to be all over the damn place because I don't know if the enemy attacks are gonna spread out and be from like two directions or whatnot. So it, it, it's, it's gonna be a bit, bit more trickier to manage this. And when the night comes, also everyone stops working, so I don't think more people are gonna be coming out. So whatever forces we have by the night time is the maximum which I can count for to defend this land of ours that we currently control. I want to get to the farm, I want to get to this pond so that we can do fishing. Uh, it's gonna be tricky to build up the fortifications around here, but we're gonna try our best. I don't know how better are these units. They have 125, uh, 32. These guys have 50 attacks, so they are stronger, but they are more squishy. Come on, fellas, before the gate closes up. Uh, they're gonna have a bit of a trouble here to reach the position. Let's try to group our units. I don't really want to capture the place here, but I'm dying to see how this is gonna be more deadlier. Oh, so now they have... What is all this green stuff? Okay, so this is definitely a bug. But that, that's understandable. It's in early access, so now they have these great swordsmen. Uh, on the previous wave they came in, well if you have not seen the previous episode, go check it out. I'm gonna leave a link to it in the video's description. I'm gonna leave also a link to the playlist as well. And so now they're gonna be coming in from this place. So again, repositioning our entire military is gonna be key. To our survival. So the archers are on the move and the melee combatants should be as well. It's just it's it's weird when they spawn in here because last time the unit sort of walked down here and just went in this general direction. So I would hate for them to be unaccounted for uh, as that might cause a bunch of trouble. Is it possible for us to research some sort of different range attacker or no, not really? Probably not really right now. Siege weapons, that's uh, that's fine. Uh, we need um, more tech. Let's do this and uh, we're gonna go with the smithy. General, so that's a statue. Decorations. Scarecrow, statue, fountain. Let's go with the statue. Let, let's build it in the courtyard of our castle. Uh, house, our income is 510. We are spending 256, we are still producing 70 food, the other resources are perfectly fine, so I'm not worried there. Military, I think we're gonna need a fortification. Done like so. We're trying to put the units all over these walls and such just because it's gonna be uh, weird for me to know where the enemy is gonna be coming in from. Okay, so the spearmen are being trained. I would love to keep some units over here as well. Uh, so we 
have additional forces joining in. These houses are empty, so it's taking them a while to be recruited. We are still making more money than we are spending, especially thanks to this mine, than we can expand over here. We're gonna have to fortify this. Right now, I just want to make sure that we have sufficient force. Uh, do we... But that's the thing, if I lead them to do whatever, they're just gonna run off and terrorize God knows who. Let's put you fellas up on those walls. Because from here, they're gonna be able to fire upon the enemy. So this has been constructed, so the happiness, I don't know if it can go higher. I'm still new to the game. Let's get more of these fellas done, and what I wanted to do is... Smithy. Okay, now we are able to upgrade the castle further. And that should give us access to being able to research, for example, stone fortifications, uh, which seems like a great idea. A shield gives great protection from arrows and increases the defense. Seems like a great thing. Uh, smithy. Uh, it's probably resources, right? Stone, sunstone, fisherman, hunter, windmill, field, farm, sawmill. House, builder, tavern, well, market, library, observatory, smithy, smithy, smithy. So where do we build a smithy? Oh, let's build it over here. And uh, having the upgraded uh, castle should allow us to tap into even bigger houses. Uh, question is if it's gonna also allow us to increase our food production. Doesn't seem like we're able to go beyond three, which is kind of dumb, but okay. able to upgrade even this question is at what rate are we getting those people uh, do we have those archers yeah we do let's get them up on those walls let's get these four f swordsmen to join our ranks here nothing worse than if we would find out we have units ready to be working they are doing exactly the opposite thing. Uh, 520... 520... 520... Problem is gonna be fortifying this place, although if we would theoretically build up the archers to be here, it might be able to still provide a covering fire for uh, whatever is happening down here. We're definitely going to be forced to uh, increase. That counts a bit. Yeah, we, we are at 37 out of 51. So it's taking a while for this to be built. Uh... Okay, uh, we are gonna require a smith. Upgrades in progress. I'm not really sure what sort of upgrades are we talking here. And it seems like we can even upgrade the smith. So that two people are able to do this. To upgrade equipment, select unit or multiple units and click on upgrade in bottom right panel. So probably we're gonna have to have units in here? I don't know. Well, let, let's see what happens if we take in two archers. I'm not sure this is how it works. 
but because we are a minute something away from... Do we even have access to these things? Let's do the shield. Like, are these two fellows gonna have now access to a shield, or what's what's gonna happen? Select unit or multiple units and click on the upgrades. Okay, so we can do reinforced armor shields. Okay. Let's, let's make you the second smithy. I don't think they're gonna be able to join in the battle. Maybe they will. Um, maybe I will just now have to work on reinforcing our units. But it looks like we have access to multiple variations of uh, what sort of upgrades we are talking here. I don't, I don't know if those units need to be like physically in there. Uh, but now these two fellows have actually a freaking shield, so that's awesome. It's always more efficient to be with a shield than without, trust me. Okay, let's see what's gonna happen. What sort of massacre are we to expect? I don't know if these archers are gonna be able to do some... Oh, wow, that's a, that's a large force. Uh, primarily I see the weaker units. Uh, I, I, this roaming around of large units is kind of weird because we, we, similar stuff tends to happen in games like Age of Empires 4 where you just see an entire flank of uh, units be moving around really weirdly. And where are they going to be attacking from right now? Okay, lovely. Uh, mm -hmm. so we need to put you fellas up on this fortification. And I'm gonna try to get as many units upgraded here as possible. It's gonna cost us some iron, but I'm, I'm fairly okay with it. Okay, uh, you... I'm still new to this whole shebang, so... Okay, we can do reinforced armor, and, uh... Armor, armor, I, I don't know if I can like have multiple units selected for god knows what. Tempered swords, do you have access to iron? I want to give them shields. Seriously, I don't know if we can have bunch of these guys aligned. We can do reinforced armor for our archers too. We have additional archers waiting. Oh, we can even like send them to a specific location. That's going to be a bit more easier to manage. Let's try to upgrade these things. Marketplace is working. Gonna need to expand, and I'm really thinking about going over here because if we start running low on funds, that's gonna be really bad for us. Uh, so military-wise, we need to build up the fortification. Like so, that means a gate would be necessary too, but we suddenly are lacking wood, which we should be able to gather. 
I don't know if I want to build or if I can even build the gate here. It looks like you need specific width in order to manage to squeeze in those units. And how is the upgrading working for you guys? Can we do this in a, like, bulk or something? I do see the reinforced armor on these fellas. I do see some shields happening here, which is awesome. The question is, if you lose a unit such as this, if that is gonna affect, uh, if you can uh, resurrect them. Which reminds me, we should potentially take a look at some stuff. Uh... Fire arrows, that's nice. Church should be the next thing. Siege weapons, not really sure if we need that, unless you caravan as well. We are now low on iron, so unless we upgrade the, the production a bit more, uh, we are gonna struggle here, but looks like we are able to do this in a bulk. It's it just... One person working on this, or... I don't know if this is like 20 iron per unit, or what's the situation here. 50 iron for reinforced armor, that seems... A lot right now. We're gonna need to dramatically increase our economy and our production in order to be able to afford something of such scale. I would love to at least reinforce these fellas. Uh, yeah, that's 50 per one. Let's send in these reinforced units. And I wanna build the da, 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 Sunstone Workshop. We're gonna need a gate in here as well. And this is another iron deposit. Uh, problem is defending this location. Uh, we need one more person to help out at the iron mine. Don't know if he's working on one. We can get some pretty damn nice angles. I feel like maybe recruiting three more archers would be beneficial. The iron is simply not coming in fast enough. That's our current issue. Oh, even building up archers maybe here would be nice. But we are super low on wood as is. Uh, getting a, a timber mill or sawmill one of these additional places would be great. Like somewhere around here, if we can tap into that, that would be just awesome. As we are starting to run super low on wood. Uh, we are still uh, producing surplus. Uh, resources, however, we're gonna need to tap into that. We're gonna need to increase our uh, production of gold. Because we are almost at the limit. It's taken a while, our quality has gone down significantly. I want to at least upgrade the armor because that to me is the survivability. Where is the uh, church 
420. Okay, it's kind of pricey. I'd rather first go into the potential of having access to a sawmill. I don't think you can recruit or acquire a location without being adjacent to it before. But this seems like a great place for maybe another one of the sawmills. So we can actually get one more person here to join in on the fun. So now we have six people effectively gathering wood. Uh, 450. Can we... Yep. That's awesome that you can actually do this. But we would need a tower. In order for us to be permitted to do this and traverse question is if the archers from here now thanks to the tower are going to be able to even get up here that's what i'm interested to see also it would be great if we can see some variations in how you position your units that would make me super happy That's, that's a freaking catapult, man. They actually do have archers now. Okay, so the bug which I am currently seeing is in the fact that they keep, or the, 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 like, if you have alt pressed and you are, oh, that's battering ram. That's ram. Okay, that's my fault then. So, uh, it will keep, like, the HP of things on the screen and it's just all weird. So archers are annoying, but thanks to the shields and such, we were able to withstand the siege. Where are they gonna be coming in from next? Oh my god, this is really bad. They're, they're like literally at the wall. Okay. So now I'm really thinking we need the damn church. I just want to see if it's possible for me to even consider uh, getting the uh, units which were worked on and being upgraded, resurrected. Uh, can we build the church inside? Okay, we have access to the wood, but I'm kind of nervous here. A ramp allows warriors to gain access to walls. Ah, oh, that's cute. Um, we're gonna need a tower, that's for sure. The question is how many people are accessible to us for whatever project. I think we just went through quite a lot. of iron we're gonna definitely need more of it if we want to be successful uh, are you are you fellas able to transfer or no because of the elevation i think it will not allow them to do this okay so we're gonna have to position you guys over here and we're gonna need that ramp too this ramp seemed like an easier way to gain ac access to the fortifications. And I kind of forgot completely that I'm an idiot and I have access to the stone stuff now. Uh, resource exchange, treasury. Let's do this. Let's do stone fortifications first. Come on, archers! Knock it the hell off. Make wall double-sided, upright stone wall. A 
So I don't have an issue moving the units from point A to point B or trying to follow the enemy. We're gonna need to recruit more units though. Gonna need another capacity upgrade for our food. The thing which I'm kind of freaking out about is I don't know if the ramp can be also used by the enemy if they would gain any access to this place. Let's build another one of you and capture this place. And I was thinking the sawmill. Because uh, they are going to be able to gain access to the other places or the surrounding woods. Just the recruitment is super slow now. Three archers over here. I don't think we can get any upgrades for the archers right now. Uh, it seems like the fire arrow is the way to go. Vegetables. Unlock vegetable field of food building that you can build on any tile without food resources. However, it produces less food. Okay, but it still can produce food. So it seems like a good technology to have in your pocket just to be on the safe side uh we can actually upgrade or reinforce the armor on these archers where are you idiots running off to i think we're gonna do this and we're gonna run off And have the okay are you guys able to do this oh so i just need to highlight the units they don't have to be even in that field okay that might be manageable so four is the maximum we still have some empty spaces Really want to tap into the potential of having uh, the people. Don't have enough iron. This is another iron deposit, stone deposit. We're gonna have to clear out the wolf den. Stone deposit, cattle uh, hunting for the boar. What tech did we go with? Uh, yeah, stone walls. I'm thinking... I don't know how I feel about the fire arrows. Uh, Two-handed knights might be interesting switch. But because it's two-handed, I don't think you can give them shield. It's gonna be kind of weird to see. I think they can actually do one of these requests at a time. But 40 iron just to get a shield to one soldier, that's kind of expensive. It helps to increase their survivability though, so I guess anything is better than just letting them die. We really need to do something with this mood. Ooh, we need someone to be also in the church too. Damn, kind of totally did not consider that being a factor. I should build up some fortification in order to protect the sawmill. We have two minutes and something until the enemy comes in and does whatever it is that they do. Builders Guild. 
can upgrade the church even so that three people are able to be inside. Decorations. The thing is, I'm aware that there is only this wall between lots of people and our castle. And that castle does not even have like reinforced walls. So I, I know this. We're, we're gonna need to expand over here in order to put in another layer of defense. are gonna first need some people to show up over here or we are super screwed still have more people to be trained I would need to catch up this person right as he or she spawns in mood is too low yeah I'm aware of it but I don't know if another tavern or something would work here it's not really that well explained. We do have food. Uh, uh Waiting resurrection 22. Jesus, that's that's a lot. I would really need to catch the next person to go over here and start resurrecting, or however this works. But also that can be kind of bad for our financial situation. Uh, treasury? Let's go with the treasury. Let's put you in the church. Oh, so he immediately starts to... Oh, wow, we lost an archer? Yeah, well, at the start of the game we did do a bunch of dumb stuff. So I'm not even, like, wandering there. The worst thing would be if the enemy would spawn in, like, right at the fortification or something. And they're coming in. And it's gonna be kind of annoying to see what's gonna pop in this time. So surprise me. We do have quite a lot of archers here. Oh, what the hell? A troll. We actually have a troll and we do have a siege ladder. Okay, so the troll is gone. The siege ladder is gone. But they have a freaking catapult though. Uh, that's bad. Uh, you know, for having nine archers up on the tower, I see only so many of them shooting. So I'm not sure what you think of this. And where do these units re resurrect? Okay, so it looks like they resurrect right over here. A worker. Oh, yeah, we have one worker. We have this sawmill, which needs our work or our attention again from that place. Ah, oh, man, they never stop with this, huh? Let's put them up on this. Question is how close should I put the units because uh, when the archers spawned in for the enemy it was kind of bad for us just due to the simple fact that uh, they were able to start uh, shooting at our units and by the time they were able to close in the range it uh, by that time led to a really bad outcome. Uh, the treasury would be awesome. Trading post, treasury. I really want to build the treasury inside of here. We're gonna probably need also people to work for the treasury. And we're gonna have to start working towards uh, building the stone fortifications. I really need to somehow manage the happiness of my people, though. Quite a lot of units have been res resurrected. Still are in a surplus.
plus when it comes to money. This, I'm, I'm gonna need to learn how this works in order to better understand it. And without having access to people, oh, so this uh, low taxes this decreases the happiness storage capacity, so it just increases our capacity of gold right now. Uh, we can tax our population, but as we are making a surplus, I don't see the point as of yet. It would also dramatically decrease the overall happiness of just about anyone and everyone. This, we're gonna need to expand in here. Uh, it probably doesn't matter that we have this under our control and nobody's in there. This is the place for the horses. I don't know if horses require food so that we can actually have them as a potential resource. It's kind of a big if. I don't think since we are resurrecting the units, we need access to... Uh, recruits right now. And I don't know how many times can you resurrect a unit. Let's work on this. We have 13 units who are goners. I would rather reinforce the armor of our lovely uh, melee combatants here, to be perfectly honest with you. Uh, let's put you fellows up on here. And you over here. So we have various uh, upgrades installed, we still are not increasing our population at a decent enough pace. We're still making surplus of cash, food wise we are only producing plus 40, which is not that great. Uh, Iron is right now really slowing us down because I'm trying to get as many upgrades for just about everyone. I have even an archer here. I don't know why. Let's let's relocate him. Now we can even man this fortification. We can upgrade this and this. This should theoretically allow them to move from point A to point B. I don't know if this spike over here is going to prevent them from reaching this. I do understand that this is the same elevation, so theoretically these archers should be able to move around from place to place. Uh, let's put you to be facing off and not inwards because that can potentially affect the range of the attack, etc, etc. Um, I'm upgrading just about anything which I can with the current amount of iron. It looks like these resources are limitless. I don't know if eventually this is gonna change, so for example, you're gonna be forced to uh, keep expanded so for example this stone deposit will only give you that certain amount of resources okay hold on i need these nine fellas we have yeah it looks like we are even able to resurrect the higher tier units which is great I think he is re resurrecting the last person ever. 
Uh, so you two go and work at the sawmill for now, I guess. But we aren't able to store more stone? Why? Uh, we're gonna need a warehouse. Then, if that's the case. Just so that we can store additional stone and we have a ton of research to be done. 600 and we're gonna need 1200, that's 800. Oh, let's go with this. This might give us access to the knight. It makes me really wonder if we are using the horses for food because it literally shows you an icon of food, so I'm not sure what you think of it. I wanna put the units close to our fortification, to be perfectly honest, so that we have the support of the archers. I don't know if there's some sort of difference in who is more proficient against whom. So if you have, for example, uh, people who are riding a horse, Spearman is much better class against them. If you have a knight on a horse, he is more proficient against your archers because he's able to close in the distance rather quickly, etc, etc. So these things kind of uh, all stack up and such. Are we now able to store even more stone? Yeah, we are, but only by so much. Seriously, uh, it just makes it so that if you build another warehouse, it's gonna be cheaper and you're just gonna be able to store so much more. And I, I know I'm gonna be able to squeeze in that warehouse eventually. Oh, okay. And the nightfall is here. Yeah, again, this glitch. Okay, so this is the bug which we have to put up with. Is that a battering ram? If they have a ram, I'm, I'm, I'm okay with that. They do have two trolls, though. That might be a bit of a problem. We're gonna see if the spearmen are gonna be capable of dealing with them or not. We do have a couple of archers. So let's go deal with them. I don't see the volleys which I want to see with the crazy stupid amount of archers that we have up on these walls. I don't even know how this archer came to be down here, but okay. able to defend ourselves once more making us wonder where they are gonna come in from oh so you see two spawn points now yeah they're definitely stepping up their game I'm gonna have to do something in order to step up mine maybe stone walls would be nice Uh, don't have yet enough in order to do stone towers. We do have enough to do stone walls. I'm gonna eventually have to upgrade even this. I think we lost units, eight of them to be exact, so sure, go nuts. Problem here is we need to really do something with our current food situation. We are only producing 30 food. I want to grab this place. And that makes me think that maybe having the access to the butcher shop would be a great addition. Uh, so a farm. Uh, 
trying to rotate it somehow like this. It's gonna be a nightmare to try and defend it though. Uh, we should be able to manage. The strangest thing is, if you think about it, that you have, for example, the capability to do a stone wall, but you aren't really forced to do stone gate, which is weird uh, when it comes to, like, upgrading. Okay, I see. Oh, okay, so with the stone fortification, uh, they're kind of weird now because they are able to squeeze in that many more units and they are kind of moving and uh, shimmering around can, can you just like knock it off I don't think we're gonna be able to reach the uh, 1200 in order to get the stone towers Do have these two warehouses though and uh, if we can get some people in here to work for me that would be just awesome do you have some iron now so theoretically we can consider getting some additional upgrades two places from which they are spawning in Right now, we are fortunate that they are both at the same location. If they're gonna start spreading apart, it's gonna be a bit more trickier to uh, do this because we're gonna have to spread out our forces. And with the extremely slow spawn rate of people, uh, this is bad because currently we are literally getting no one to join in which is uh, really bad. I really don't know how to increase this or how to improve this. I do see a person who's capable of working here and most likely we're not gonna see an attack on this farm. I don't know how much food are we gonna get out of it though. Yeah, this is really bad. Uh, let's move you to the farm. We need to build another granary. Uh, granary, granary, granary. Am I blind or yes? Okay, 59, I don't really know what we're gonna be able to pull off here. Okay, hold on, we are gonna be able to get the access. 30 and 30. And so are you fellas now able to... Okay, it still seems like we can only squeeze in nine of them at a time. We can live with that, maybe. I don't know, maybe I'm lying. Ah, uh, you know what, you fellas, I can really use you up on these walls right now. Because I'm not really sure what we're gonna be up against. I'm not collecting taxes. I don't know if building up, like, more statues is gonna help out. But I'm gonna try my best. Let's do a fountain, we do have the stone. Fortification is built. Let's try to make the outer walls. Oh, yeah, we don't have the stone now. I'm gonna 
trying to make them all face in here because I'm not really sure what to expect out of tonight. 80 and 50. I don't know how many units are now gonna be upgraded. And if the archers are gonna be able to attack all the way up there. Uh, we have 21 swordsmen, 11 uh, spearmen. It would be great if I would have some sort of indicator of line of fire or something like that, which would allow me to let me know uh, how far we can send out our units before they are without the ranged support. Because it's gonna be a massacre eventually, anyhow. These three fellas can come down here and join in them. are fully stocked when it comes to gold we can increase or upgrade the mill so theoretically that might actually upgrade our food production here what do you mean close working space i, I don't want to close working space why, why in the world would i do that i want to increase the farm's production rate uh really need to start yeah, I'm thinking getting this would be great, the resource exchange. I'm just not sure how it operates or if I need a special building for that procedure. Uh, trading post, probably. Thing is, we are so overcrowded with structures. I don't even know where to build this. So that it's not so damn ugly. Okay, this is actually even changing the elevation of everything. Interesting. Uh, military, if we... Can we build this so even here? No, not really, huh? Don't have the stone. Running low on stone constantly. Uh, and in 13 seconds, the enemy is gonna arrive. Uh, you're gonna be busy the next day with all these resurrections, trust me, fella. Okay. We got off easy here with the spearman trying to poke this damn uh, ram. Uh, this is kind of more difficult here. Oh, okay, the troll came in, but it seems like they're able to dish out quite the punishment here. So actually the fact that we know from what location the enemy is gonna come is making this a bit easier on us. Don't know if the three guys over here would have to go back to their place so that if I should try to consider building the other uh, ironsmith over here, we do need more people to join us. We did not lose that many people, shockingly, and... You know what, let's put the priest into the farm. We're gonna have the attack coming in from this place, which is kind of bad. Uh, it will force our units out of range of the uh, archers. Y you know, like I was wondering if you can get crossbowmen, because crossbowmen, for example, have shorter range, but the damage, the, the piercing damage of the crossbows is way superior than the damage of, for example, a bow. It of course depends on if it's long bow or what sort of weapon we are talking. But in general, uh, that that's why certain armies started switching to crossbows in the medieval times. Like for example, French 
armies uh, over uh, the English armies during the Hundred Year Old War and things like that. They were utilizing different types of gear. Okay, how much? 75. They really need to ramp up our production of things. Whoever is not going to be able to squeeze in on top here is definitely going to need to get an upgrade. Uh, okay. So, wait, where did the archers go to? They aren't able to get there. So this, this is kind of weird. Kind of glitched out on me. What, what's happening right now? Why aren't the archers moving into the positions given to them? This was just super weird. I'm not sure what's happening right now over here. This might be a glitch, but okay, uh... Let's see if this is gonna be able to fix it. It looks like people from the Builders Guild are able to step in and provide the necessary help. No, you fellas, you stay over there. Play nice. so confused right now with what's happening. I never had this issue before though. So that's why I'm kind of freaked out that suddenly there's a problem of archers being able to populate the location that I need them to. Fire arrows. That That's quite the expensive upgrade there. I don't know how many we are getting done, though. I think three of them, since 30 is show showing me now. I have only 11. Oh, what, let's send the archers out there to be massacred. Not really sure why they aren't able to rotate the tower. No. I'm so confused with this. This is definitely some sort of glitch. Because the game is in early access. I can live with that. A little annoying though. But okay. Um, you know what? Let's put this over here. Let's put you here. And let's keep you fellas like so. With a larger force of archers behind your back. You guys are just so weird with this tower. I don't understand what's suddenly happening. Okay, suddenly they're able to get in. What the hell was happening until now, though? Okay, let's send you fellas in. I don't know how more effective the fire arrows can be. Like, logically thinking, if the enemy has access to siege weapons, I'm gonna assume that, sure, if you're gonna start shooting the catapults with fire arrows, they're gonna just light up like fireworks, and it's gonna be easier on us. We really need to... Population. What do you mean population is such a mi large minus? But I need the population. I want even larger population, that's the thing. Okay, I want to have a uh, fishing place, I, I want to have this and that. I want to have access to all these cool things. I'm giving more archers to the spearmen just due to the fact that there's a smaller number of them. Three point something minutes left. Cannot even recruit anyone right now, so that sucks. 
nobody's manning anywhere besides this flank. Even thinking I'm gonna send in these five fellas. So we have upgraded the outer defense. Uh, we're gonna still have to tap into upgrading this. Just in case. We are sitting on a ton of wood, so at least something positive is gonna come out of this. Uh, theoretically, we can build towers in here, since we have the guild. I don't know why it's not allowing me to build in here, though. Happiness bonus plus one. So the towers should actually add into our overall happiness. Believe it or not. I mean, I did build the damn fountains and everything, but it doesn't seem to be working. So I don't know what to expect here. And I really want to get that additional population. Build houses to increase population. But they're just not coming in. So I, I'm not sure what to think of this. It's kind of strange that way. I'm gonna really upgrade this further. I can theoretically consider upgrading even more of them into the fire archers. gonna give something to our smithy to work on really dying to see how the fire arrows are gonna look at night uh, money wise we are really well at it food wise we are nicely set up I feel like maybe additional uh, barn is in order build it down here stone and iron is right now where we are stuck 18 seconds the gates are gonna open and all hell will break loose Looks like archers are now everywhere. And thanks to having the archers over here, actually helped us out quite a lot. Okay, this is fun. Uh, so the enemy is now gonna come in from this direction. Which probably means I'm gonna need another tower somewhere in here but i think we have covered quite a lot on this episode so i'm gonna cut it off here i do hope you all enjoyed it and if you want to see more the castle on the channel let me know through the comment section and uh, if you're new to the channel and you're still watching then make sure to subscribe as i publish fun content like this on a weekly basis I do all sorts of cool things on the weekly base, so check it out. I'm gonna wish you a pleasant rest of the day, and hopefully I will see you all in the comment section or at the next one. Thank you for watching everyone, stay safe out there, and bye bye for now. The question is how we are gonna approach this. We can theoretically leave some forces up over here, and we can keep some forces up over here. The archers are gonna be able to provide the covering fire. if we're not gonna completely glitch out of everything. Thinking we can move the archers there. And we can move the swordsman here. I'm 
quite sure we might have lost someone. One unit, you gotta be kidding me. Wow, these upgrades are life-changing. 